What's going on, Geeks and Gamers? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and welcome to Gaming with Geeks. And as people are finally able to play The Last of Us Part 2, the user reviews are vastly different than the critic reviews. You can see right here a 95 by the critic review on Metacritic, one of the best reviewed games of the generation. That's what the critics told us The Last of Us Part 2 was. However, when you look at that user score, you see that 3.4. 26,000 ratings. That is over twice as many ratings as The Last of Us got in the entire seven years that the game has been released. Now, a lot of these are negative. You can see 3,000 positive. See, this is 3,000 to 10,000. This is lagging behind. If we go to the actual one right here, let's take a look at user reviews. 7,000 positive, 18,000 negative. There are a ton of people just saying, zero, this game was trash, I can't believe what they did. There are a lot of positive reviews saying, I didn't even play this, but this is just to say, screw you haters. There's review bombing on both sides. Let's not get it mistaken. It is not only being review bombed negatively, it is also being review bombed positively. But overall, this is people saying that they are upset with what Naughty Dog has done. Now, we are going to talk about spoilers in this video, so if you want to avoid being spoiled for The Last of Us Part 2, I would not watch the remainder of this video. But one of the reasons that people are so upset about it is clearly the fate of Joel. Like we talked about in the spoiler vid that we got copyright struck for here on this channel, Joel dies at the hands of Abby, and the way he dies is just absolutely terrible. He he and Tommy, for some reason, you know, they save Abby multiple times, and then when they're finally done, they're in a room, they decide to give this entire group of strangers that they don't know their full names, and immediately Abby kills him, beats him to death with a golf club. Two hours into this game, but the thing that makes people so mad is that Naughty Dog tried to trick everyone into thinking that this game was way more about Joel than it ever actually was. You can see right here, Naughty Dog has misled the Last of Us fans with swapped models. And we're going to get into a couple instances of this. Now, with some of these trailers, this is what people pointed to. They're like, no, those leaks can't be right. Look at all, this, look at all these trailers. They clearly show that Joel's a big part of this game. Well, he may be, be a big part of it in the first couple hours, but the rest of it is all flashbacks. Look at what they did to trick you into thinking. Trick you into thinking that this was actually going to be about Joel. Here is from a trailer. Take a look at this. What the hell are you doing here? You think I'd let you do this on your own? Right? So this clearly makes people think that this game is going to be about Joel joining Ellie on her quest for whatever she needs to do. Right? That he's going to be a major part of it. But what happens in the actual game? Let's take a look. This is the actual game. That is Jesse, a character from this game. Despicable. You can see the clear differences in the scene. It's even the same background. That is the same staircase. It is disgusting that they put that model of Joel in there. But it is not the only time they did this. Look here. From the story trailer, the old version of Joel from the final game. Young version of Joel. A flashback. This is not part of the game. They just did this for the trailer to trick you. Same thing right here from the trailer, from the final game. Old Joel, young Joel. Old Ellie, young Ellie. It is flashbacks. Same. Look at that. Undeniable what they have done. Disgusting from Naughty Dog and they are paying the price. And there are a lot of people out there trying to defend Naughty Dog. Mostly access media um, or just really hardcore fanboys that don't want to see anything different. Uh, but you can't deny 
You can't deny what Naughty Dog has done. They have tricked everybody. That is why people are freaking out about this game. But what do you think about this? What do you think about all of the, the blowback that Naughty Dog is getting after being so disingenuous and trying to trick people into getting this game? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I will talk to you later.